Now this morning, Creighton hosted 60 kids for its annual abilities camp. But this year, the camp featured both Creighton men's and women's basketball players who had the opportunity to be around kids with special needs while bonding with them through the game of basketball. Just seeing the kids smile and have the fun is a great part of it. On a Friday morning at Creighton's Championship Center, the sounds of bouncing basketballs, claps, and cheers echo throughout the gym. But it's not the Blue Jays practicing. They're there, but instead of working out, they're volunteering at the annual Abilities Camp. It kind of shows how Creighton is very tight-knit, and it's pretty cool that they put on things like these for these kids, and so their families can come, you know, get pictures and videos of the kids with us, and you know, all of that's really cool. The camp, which celebrated its fifth year, is led by Creighton men's basketball assistant coach Steve Murfell. I serve on the state of Nebraska uh, Special Olympics board. Uh, when I was the head coach at Evansville, I had a Down syndrome young man that sat on the bench that I keep in touch with to this day. I have a cousin who is autistic that maybe is the biggest sports fan that I've ever been around. Uh, so there's a there's a place in my heart for sure. This was the first year both the men's and women's basketball teams volunteered together while continuing to collaborate with Creighton physical therapy students. As you said, the men have been able to do this. So we've seen the promotion from um, the camp, camps that they've had in the past and just to be able to be a part and interact with these kids and just put a smile on their face has been really awesome to do. When I came on my visit, it was during like during this abilities camp so I got to see it on my visit which is really cool and I didn't see any other schools I went to visit had this or they didn't mention it so it's just amazing that we get to do this and get to give back to the community a little bit. 